Hello, and in today's session, we're going to show users how to create a page within their WordPress blog. Before I get started, I'd like to briefly share with you the differences between a page and a post. A page is used to display information that is static. Examples of this might be an About Us page, or a description of your services, or your contact information. These both are examples of information that ordinarily do not change with time. A post, on the other hand, is used to display information that's time-oriented. An example of this is a local community website might want to display an article about a youth soccer game that happened on Saturday morning. In this case, you would want your viewers to be able to view an archive for Saturday's activity and see the article about the youth soccer game along with anything else that happened on the day. This is a perfect example of why you would write a post instead of a page. To get started, Log into WordPress using the username and password provided to you by your site administrator. Once logged in, WordPress will bring you to the WordPress dashboard that you see on your screen. To create a page, click on Page, click Add New. First step in the, in the process is to create a title for your new page. So let's go ahead and create a title. second step in the process is to actually type the content that you wish to, to appear on your new page in the box below. So let's go ahead and type some content. Now that we've added our content, the next step is I'm sure you'll want to format some of the text to your liking. Now I've always mentioned that typing content into WordPress is as easy as typing a letter into Microsoft Word. The one major difference between Microsoft Word and WordPress is how your text is formatted. In Microsoft Word, you're used to, I'm sure you're used to selecting from a long list of fonts and fonts or typefaces and sizes. However, due to the fact that your viewers will be viewing your blog across many different platforms, platforms such as Internet Explorer, Safari, or Firefox, you're limited to the typefaces that are already loaded onto their computer. So what WordPress does is they actually limit your ability to change the font to something called a style sheet. And so what we're going to show you today is how to increase the size of text uh, in WordPress in such a way that your viewers across your platforms will be able to see it clearly. So the first step in formatting is you'll want to select the text that you want to format. Now, if you notice, there's a second line on the toolbar. If you do not see that second line in the toolbar, just click on this kitchen sink icon over here to the right and the second line will appear. Over here to the left where it says paragraph, there's a drop down menu. This gives you the list of styles that are included in your style sheet within WordPress. So what we're going to do is we've already selected the text. We're going to pick from this list. We're going to choose heading one. And as you notice, if you notice, this, the text that we selected is slightly larger than the text above it. That's because we chose the heading one. If you notice here, heading it says heading one instead of paragraph. All right. Now that we've formatted your text, there's two things you're going to want to do before publishing this page so the whole world can view. The first step is to decide whether or not you want to allow your viewers to comment on whatever the content is on this page. Generally speaking on pages, you don't allow your users to comment. But if you choose 
make sure if if you would like to make sure that you choose to allow comments under this discussion menu at the bottom of your screen by selecting allow comments and conversely if you choose not to allow your visitors to comment you're going to want to make sure that that checkbox is unchecked once you've made that decision you're going to want to come up here to um, the, what um, WordPress calls page attributes unlike posts your pages are the category there are no categories within pages so if you're about if you want your about us to be a main page on your site there's nothing more you need to do here under this page attribute but let's say there's a under about us you want to have a history page and a um, you know maybe a current events page of some sort what you'll want to do is you'll want to select what they call a parent page from within this list and right now although we're creating an about us page there is already an about page within the site so in this case we're not going to select a parent but I'm just showing you this option that in the future if you want to make a child page underneath a page that already exists you're going to want to select from this list now that we've created the page and we formatted it the last step in the process is to publish the page so the whole world can view if you notice there's a comment up here it says page is published and you click view page to view your page and here's our page now if you notice on this particular template within WordPress you'll see there's categories going across this menu bar right here it says on categorized it says welcome these are all posts categories the, the view the menu for your pages it's up here over here to the top right hand corner and if you notice there's our about us page that we just created and here's the content and since we chose to allow our visitors to comment there's there's the comment box below that's all that's all there is to adding a page to your WordPress blog